Okay, guys, we are glad to welcome you here in Minsk. Thanks for coming. And you're going to rock really soon. Do you have any expectations from this show and from any show in any particular country? Well, uh, hopefully there will be a lot of people showing up and they will enjoy the show. So, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> we, we try to kick ass and uh, so the audience leaves satisfied. Mm -hmm. I guess. Okay. And you've stated on your Facebook page that you've got a bunch of plans for the upcoming year and it's already March. So will you please share some uh, some of the plans you had and maybe you already managed to carry out something? Uh, we've been playing a few shows uh, since uh, the end of last year because uh, um, 2019 is um, the band's uh, 20th anniversary. So uh, we played a couple of special shows where we performed the whole Songs to Live album uh, in full. And um, now at the moment we are writing some new songs for an EP uh, to be released hopefully in, before the end of the year or uh, beginning of next year. And uh, we are uh, uh, booking some other shows around Europe and yeah, we'll see what happens this fall <laughs> uh, yeah that's it for the moment yeah. as you mentioned you've got 20th anniversary of the band and uh, if we look back and make it a bit retrospective uh, of course a lot of things have changed since then but can you mention what remained the same about you since that time I guess um, the passion for the music uh, to always push uh, the boundaries of the music and try to keep it interesting for ourselves uh, for uh, the audience uh, the yeah the need to keep on writing stuff that feels exciting uh, and of course uh, we like to we love to play live shows and tour and stuff like that and that's something that we still like to do you know so i guess uh, i mean even if we went through changes of course uh, both as human beings and musicians you know also because of aging and stuff but um, the, I think the passion is what uh, carry carry us on you know mm -hmm. got your point and if you all of you guys at any point look at the uh, forgotten tomb as at your child and now it's basically a grown-up person already uh, how could you describe this person and the key points of its growing up Maybe. That's a difficult one. <laughs> uh, I think uh, it will be a pretty much a fucked up person <laughs> at this point in life, because uh, I'm kind of am. So yeah. Uh, I don't know if they have something to add because I don't know what to reply. To yeah, be quite frank, <laughs> uh, maybe a person that doesn't sit back and, and look too much back at the past, mm -hmm. but tries to to strive for renovation and tries not to repeat himself. Yeah, some kind of uh, survivor, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, who tries to look forward even if things are falling apart of the whole time, you know. <laughs> but you just don't stop, you know, like you, you keep pushing, uh, something like that, I guess. Yeah. One can notice this on your albums because musically it differs from the previous ones. And do you do this on purpose, or like do you push your limits on purpose, or does it go naturally with you? I think both ways, because uh, I, I mean I always want to uh, do something new uh, when I write the songs, but uh, at the same time so I couldn't keep on playing the old the old stuff over and over. Uh, uh, so it, it goes both ways. I mean, uh, 
uh, it comes naturally and it's also something that uh, uh, I aim to do, you know. Mm -hmm. Musically you stood at the origins of many things like depressive suicidal black metal and how does it feel knowing that your music became a huge turning point in someone else's lives? It's a good feeling, I mean, for the fact that uh, you realize you accomplished something over the years, you know, with your music. Uh, uh, it changed something in the uh, in the genre, you know, in the black metal subgenre and that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's satisfying in a way, you know, like uh, at least we have, you know, like the first two albums are considered cult albums and stuff like that. And a lot of bands took inspiration from that. So it's good in a way. Uh, in another way, uh, I'm not very fond of uh, how um, the genre evolved. I mean, uh, what I did in the beginning, I don't think it sounds like uh, uh, what bands are doing now, you know, in the same category. You know, like they took the inspiration, but they kind of uh, took it wrong <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> I guess. But uh, that happens with everything, you know, when you make something new, then you get copycats and this kind of stuff or bands inspired by other bands. And sometimes it's it's in a good way, sometimes it's not that good. But yeah, I guess the important thing is that uh, you inspired some someone at least, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've got pretty dark and sometimes provocative lyrics, of course, like hurt the ones, hurt yourself and the ones you love and stuff. And do you basically practice what you preach? I guess most of the time. I mean, uh, it's difficult because you, you you would have to analyze every lyric I write. You know, uh, so it's it's difficult to say. I mean, uh, of course, uh, everything I write, I t I take inspiration from uh, my own life or from what I see around me. So sometimes I, I talk about misery in general or people I know. You know. But uh, yeah, uh, we had some pretty grim uh, events in our uh, history as a band. Uh, so yeah, uh, for instance, the, the album you named, the, the model on the cover killed herself. So yeah, it doesn't get more real than that, you know. So uh, what happens around the band, around the concept of the band is of course a little uh, fucked up most of the time, so yeah. Uh, I've been through a lot of shit myself, you know, with car accidents and a lot of other problems. So yeah, it all ends up in the uh, in the lyrics in the end. Of course, you have to uh, write things in a certain way because uh, uh, it has to to be musical, you know, in the end. But I think uh, yeah, it's pretty much all real. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And can you say that there are some people in your lives, in any of your life, that uh, influence you that much that really affects what you do? And maybe one remark or someone's opinion can really affect that you can rewrite basically the song from the ground up? No, uh, especially because uh, uh, they're the only ones who listen to the songs when I'm in the process of songwriting. So. Uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, we discuss things and we change a few things here and there. But uh, um, yeah, I would if I want to do something, uh, I wouldn't change completely the direction of what I'm doing. You know, uh, I think uh, it comes pretty naturally. So yeah, mm -hmm. we don't have producers who you know who tell us uh, how to write an album or a song. So we pretty much go into the studio with the material already done, written, you know, so there's not much to change. Let's go into some more imaginative thing. Uh, like, if you had uh, a choice that you could trade basically one of your skills you have for the one you do not have, each of you, which would it be and why? I have no idea, to be quite frank. Maybe you've got some ideas. But I, uh, in general, you mean? In general. 
I will trade some musical ability for the ability to climb mountains, for example. Oh, really? Yeah, I love I love that, but I can't do the fucking thing because I suffer from you know vertigo. Oh, oh it is cool, but I would love to do. Simply not. If you if you mean to trade something, I think I wouldn't trade nothing about myself. I'm satisfied mm -hmm. about myself, so. Yeah, that's the key point of happiness, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you. And I guess the uh, last question will be about the future, because we've been pretty much retrospective so far. Uh, maybe you disclose some plans concerning your next upcoming EP. Uh, whatever you think is appropriate to disclose. Mm. There are no plans. I mind just uh, writing stuff, so I don't even know how it's going to sound in the end, you know. It's always like that with every album, so... Uh, I really don't know what we, what is going to happen, you know. We're just writing stuff and trying to be true to ourselves, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys for your time, for the nice talk and rock tonight. Yeah, for sure, thanks. Thank